Alpine class, it's time for our final instalment of Shirley Hughes's Wheels, and we're about to find out what Carlos's birthday present is from his big brother Marco. It was a go kart, a real go kart. It had proper steering and rubber wheels and a seat, and it was painted bright red. Marco had made it himself. Carlos was too surprised to speak. Never ever in his wildest dreams had he imagined owning a go-kart. He looked at it for a long time. He stroked its wheels and its little seat. Then he put his head against Marco's arm. Thanks, Marco, he said. It was the last day of the holidays. Most of Trotter Street had turned up in the park for the big event, the non-bicycle race. The skaters were already lined up. Sanjit, Sam, Ruby Roberts, they were all on roller skates. Harvey and Barney had skateboards. Jim Zielinski and Brains Barrington were in their box on wheels. Frankie had borrowed a scooter and May and Debbie had one roller skate each. Carlos was at the controls of his new go-kart, with Billy crouching behind him. Now Josie lifted the starter's flag. Ready, steady, go! Cheering mums, dads and toddlers lined the track. The bird lady was there and Orville too. Even Mr Lowe popped his head round the door of his hut to watch, though mostly to keep an eye on his flower beds. Past the play area, into the steep slope, gaining speed then cornering wildly, sometimes crashing but managing to scramble on again, weaving, coasting, trundling they went all the way down to the lake. And who came first? Carlos and Billy, in the wonderful go-kart, of course. it. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter holiday and I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Uh, stay healthy, keep safe and don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs>